Hi, I'm Ernst Frankel, the founder of JerusalemExperience.com, and today I'm taking you to visit the Church of St. Peter in Gallicanto, where, according to Christians' belief, is the prison of Christ, where Jesus was held after he was arrested at Gethsemane on Holy Thursday and waited all night for his trial the day after on Good Friday. So let's enjoy this video. Welcome to JerusalemExperience.com the place where you can watch videos from Jerusalem and its holy sites from your computer at home. Today we are visiting the Church of St. Peter in Gallicantu, which is built on the eastern slopes of Mount Zion and thus has a spectacular panoramic view of the Temple Mount, the Mount of Olives, and the Kidron Valley. The name Gallicantu means the cock's crow, and comes from the story of Peter's triple denial of Jesus and the cock crowing twice. According to Christian tradition, the church's location has a double biblical reference. Here, Peter shed his tears after repenting for denying Jesus when hearing the cock crows, and here was also the palace of the high priest Caiaphas, where Jesus was held after his arrest at Gethsemane on the night of Holy Thursday. In the church compound, at the main level, there is a statue dramatizing one of the times that Peter denied knowing Jesus. Luke tells us that a servant girl pointed Peter out to the Roman soldiers, saying, This man was also with him. Peter, for his part, hastened to deny it. I know him not. Now, let's go and explore the church, which includes an upper church and a lower, large chapel. Let's first start with the upper church. The main door to the church bears a beautiful metal leaf depicting Jesus with his eleven apostles, Judas is omitted, and in the center of the right door, a cock. Now let's go inside the church. Facing the entrance is an illustration of Jesus, his hands bound, surrounded by a crowd angrily shaking their fists at him. And here, above, Jesus and his disciples are shown partaking of the Last Supper. Once again, Tratorius Judas is left out. A glance at the ceiling reveals a spectacular cruciform window. Now, let's move to the chapel beneath the upper church. On our way down, we see several mosaics from the 5th century Byzantine church that was here before. This chapel is dedicated to the first biblical reference of Peter's denial of Jesus, and it is hewn out of the mountainside, and some of its walls are made of rock. This picture shows the denying Saint Peter, the handcuffed Jesus, and the cock, with the inscription, I know him not. Here, at the main altar, is a picture depicting Peter weeping as he understood his mistake of denying Jesus, with the inscription, Peter went out and wept bitterly. Now, let's have a look at the second biblical reference to the location of this church, the pit in which Jesus was held during the night of his arrest and that can be seen from this hole in the ground which is marked with several engraved Byzantine crosses. Now, let's go down to the cellar level, dating back to the Second Temple period, and housing pits that were in general used to hold water as cisterns, to hold grain as granaries, to use as olive presses, and to use as ritual baths. These cellars probably belonged to a well-known person during the Second Temple period, and according to Christian tradition, here was the palace of the high priest Caiaphas, to which Jesus was brought after his arrest. Here in this pit, it is believed Jesus was held during that night waiting for his trial by Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor of Judea. Just imagine what Jesus felt as he was locked in this pit 
waiting for his trial, already aware of his destiny. Each year on Holy Thursday, pilgrims from all over the world join a candlelit night procession from Getcheman, the place of Jesus' arrest, to this church of St. Peter and Galicantu in order to pray and be with Jesus on his last night before his crucifixion on the day after. When we step out of the cellar level, we arrive at the churchyard, which is filled with archaeological findings from different periods in Jerusalem's history, starting with the first temple period and up to the Byzantine period. The most interesting finding is a staircase connecting Mount Zion and the upper city to the Kidron Valley. According to Christian belief, Jesus with his disciples followed this path after they had their last supper to the grotto in Getcheman, where Jesus was captured and brought back along these stairs to be locked in the pit that we have just seen. This tablet near the staircase shows Jesus and his disciples walking from the last supper room to Getcheman. And this tablet shows Jesus with his hand tied after his arrest being led back to his jail. <laughs>